All right, welcome back to Ricketts Reef. I thought I'd document this light build that I'm doing. This is for my frag tanks. <coughs> um, I, I thought I'd show this part because this is the one part that could confuse people if they want to build something similar to what I'm building here. Basically, all I've got here is a big square piece of wood. I think it's 24 by 24. I've got a hole drilled in the top. Around this hole, I've got a piece of acrylic screwed in with a hole in the middle. Uh, through here, you'll see later what happens uh, with the servo attached. I got the servo attached to two pieces of wood. There'll be links to the servo and all that stuff on uh, on the description. Connected to the outside of this wooden square is just four thin pieces of plywood. Um, if you see the line, that's kind of I had a line on both sides, and that's where the where you, where I attach it to the big center square. Essentially, this is the bottom where the LEDs will be going. This is the top where the drivers will be going. And then everything will be controlled with switches and so on and so forth. What I will do is, what I did with my other light, is cover this in uh, drywall, putty stuff, sand it down, paint it with a primer, paint it with a water, uh, safe paint, like a uh, maybe like a kitchen and bath ceiling type thing. So it will be sealed. Uh, inside I'll probably do white as usual just because it reflects light. Any bit of reflection is good. And that's that. You'll see the finished product in a minute. Alright, next step in the LED fixture is to come out with the basic design. Now, <clears throat> I don't usually plan much of this stuff on paper. I just kind of I just kind of go by what my head tells me. Uh, I don't know. I, I just figure this shit as I go along. Um, so I built the box. I had a, a basic idea of a concept of what I wanted the box to look like, the fixture to look like, and I built that. So this side will hold the LEDs, the other side, as I showed you, will hold the drivers and a few other gizmos. <clears throat> One of those gizmos will be what controls these fans. I'm going to have these fans oscillating back and forth. I was actually going to have the LEDs connected to my oscillator, so the actual LEDs go all the way back and forth. But I figured I don't really need that, and it's a little difficult to get the airflow that I want with that situation. Um, maybe I'll do that with another one. But anyway, so those will be connected to an oscillation system, which I'll show you using a servo. Uh, the LEDs themselves will be housed on these pieces of aluminum U-channel. Uh, I can get 14 feet of this aluminum U-channel for 10 bucks. So I just grabbed a length and took the old grinder with the metal attachment and cut off three inch pieces and drilled a hole through each side and those will uh, I will get a zip tie put it through there use the staple gun probably pop a staple there and zip tie the piece of aluminum U channel to the staple that's secure into this into the box now each one will hold just one LED so what I'll have is like a, it's kind of like a big LED bulb, uh, essentially, with Cree 3 watt LEDs. And then they'll be connected and go through a hole on the bottom here to the drivers. So that was the next step, was to, to cut these. Now I don't suspect most people will make a fixture that looks like this. This is kind of unique. I'm just, I'm having fun. I'm going with it. Um, I'm trying to get as much spread and cover as much uh, area with as little LEDs as possible. I, I've noticed on my big fixture, on my 90, that you know I don't really need a ton of LEDs to get the light I need to grow the corals, especially when the corals are close enough to the surface of the water. So I'm thinking most of these fixtures that people are building with, I don't know, like 200 LEDs over a 120 gallon tank, you know, that's a, that's amount of power they just don't need with these high powered LEDs. Um, yeah, you're pushing up the PAR readings, and it, you know it looks good on paper, but I've noticed with my corals that I'm running my LEDs. My whites are at 40% most of the time. My blues at max are at 80%. I don't really need that much power, and as long as the corals are close enough to the top, a good shallow reef tank, you get the spread pretty easy without using any uh, any optics. So anyway, everyone can still play with these. This, these LED systems are still new. I'm just finding that uh, less is sometimes more in terms of growth. Okay, 
So I'm going to throw a few things together and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute.